Well, from uh, that vantage point, you should be able to see most of the action. Uh, tonight's finale is uh, force feeding the baby kings. do that we have to have some preparation everybody gets three large pinks <clears throat> whether they like it or not actually Well, hi there. I know you're so happy to see me because I happen to. Uh, now, don't go running off. Now, don't go running off. Now, they're probably a good two feet plus now, and they definitely uh, are learning the drill here, which is not a good thing because it usually means that they cause me a whole hell of a lot more trouble. Oh, well that's not very good. I slipped. That slipped. Could have cost me a finger bite. Huh? Hi, how are you today? I know, you haven't been fed in a few days. Uh, this is my busy travel time for business. Uh, subsequently, uh, I'm out and about, uh, sometimes just, you know, day trips, uh, sometimes not. Oh my god, these guys are just so slick, well slick in many ways, but in the not so good way is they are slick because they're smooth scaled and they're very difficult to hold on to. Now come on, open your mouth and not open it and close it on my finger. Now these guys can be uh, quite testy as far as wanting to open their jaws or not. The easiest way is with a credit card. Oh come on. Let's see if I can get him to open his mouth uh, without having to resort to such things. That's good. Oh, nice big drop of venom on that head. At least it's not on my finger. So not only do you have to get the fuzzy in position, But you also have to adjust to things like death rolling, like this. And he's upside down, and that makes life even more difficult. We're going the other way. Oh, almost got your head free. Almost did it. See, they're becoming as it's a counterproductive thing. As you as you feed them, and they grow and become stronger then they're able to resist you force feeding them and uh, makes your life really difficult. Usually I save this to last because I'm really really mentally and quite a bit physically spent oh my goodness that was close that was very clever that was very clever that was a new one huh that was a new one. Don't stick your tongue at me, that's rude. Here, why I uh, milk this sucker down, let me uh, tilt up just a little bit. So maybe you can see a little bit more. We don't need to see that edge of the table. Okay, one down, two more to go. So this is, uh, this is a very challenging thing to do. 
because all the time you know they want to bite you now the good thing is their fangs are short and placed way out on the end unlike force feeding little finger rotters which have switch blades uh, that are fairly long on a fairly short head oh, get that in there come on usually the first one is the worst one because uh, they're at full power now if you remember snakes uh, have cold-blooded respiration yeah I know that's pretty obvious but it plays a significant part in the fact that they tire fairly rapidly oh they're slippery already when you add water to the factor oh that's just lovely so what happens is they they go into metabolic acidosis which isn't good because uh, animals will stress out and sometimes croak but lactic acid builds up in their muscle fibers and everyone's felt that burn when you're running uh, your muscles feel like they're on fire well that happens uh, with cold-blooded animals too that's why big crocs you know Steve used to say that you know they used to tire out you eat that on your own? Not a chance, right? Huh? Uh, they used to tire out after a while, and you know, and sometimes, you know, to the point where they're really not with it anymore. And Steve, you know, was worried about their survival. Now, what are you gonna do, huh? You gonna spit this out if I let you go, or are you gonna eat it? See right now it's it's very tired. But these are the sort of tests that you have to do periodically to see if they've decided not to struggle anymore um, and just to eat. Did you notice I, uh, I stopped holding you? Hmm? Now it would be a whole lot better for both of us if you decided to eat that on your own. Oh, takeout food, huh? You gonna spit that out or you gonna eat it, huh? Come on, be a good little snake. Come on, because I don't like doing this any more than uh, you like me doing it. Come on, be the little puppy dog, uh, King Cobra, and eat that. Come on. Come on. Look. Yeah, that's my hand uh, in front of his face, but uh, he's, he's not going to uh, be in a position to bite. Oh, now he is. Okay, come on. Come on, we got to pin you again and do this. Well, that was a start. That was a start. I see you've uh, rejuvenated a little bit. Let's get this a little wet. No, oh, no. If you've seen that uh, video uh, that I put up today, and it's the 24th of October with the uh, flat nosed viper, the Trimasurus paniseus, that was having trouble killing a mouse and thrashing it about. Well, I think it's happening again. Uh, I can hear it going on in the background, but uh, while I'm doing this, uh, practically the place could be on fire and it's not going to uh, uh, bother me so much.
Come on. Come on. I know this is a big one. This is a stretch. This is a stretch for you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, there we go. I knew you could do it. It's a little help. Okay. 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 I know you're tired. I know you're tired. Just relax. We'll get it down the hatch. I know. I know. Just just be, relax, relax. Let me do all the work. Ah, there we go. I'm sorry, bud. If you would have just taken that down. Without any intervention. That would have been good. Now that was number two. Number two is the one that gives me all the trouble. And that's why I sort of uh, took her first. Oh, you're opaque, okay? You get a pass. Uh oh, 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 don't bite my hand. Relax, relax. We're not going to molest you. You're opaque. Relax. Number one is opaque. Now, this is good, okay? If the snake is opaque, the snake is growing. If the snake is growing, uh, this is a good thing. Okay. Now, how are you? Hello, I haven't seen you in a while. You're behind door number three here, uh, we have this nice little guy. Oh, how are you, huh? Oh, up that stick. Up that stick, buddy. How are you? Hello. Oh, you're a nice guy. Hello, oh, how's your back doing? Huh? Uh, 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 uh. How's that back doing? Huh? How's your back doing? Oh, we're doing that death roll stuff already, huh? I don't even have you in my grip and you're rolling. Huh? That's not very nice. No. We're getting smart, aren't we? Huh? We're getting smart. Oh, good shot. Gotta love King Cobras, man. They're just uh, fantastic creatures. Uh, I'd really love to see one in the wild. Maybe if I uh, hit the lottery or something, I can make a big donation to Rom's uh, foundation and get to visit him at his uh, place in India and, and see some in the wild. Uh, you know, certainly also they're found in Indonesia. But uh, to see a big Indian king, though, that would be fantastic. There we go. You managed to poop on me, didn't you? Oh, oh it's just urate. Just urate. Urate? I don't know. I thought I was nine. Meanwhile, everybody else is watching, hoping for something to eat. Now, why do you have to poop on everything, huh? Huh? <laughs> Look at you, huh? You're being difficult already. You're being difficult already. That looks like a likely candidate. Yeah, here. Oh, that's good. Open it up. No, don't. Don't bite the finger. Are you going to eat that? Are you going to eat that or are you going to bite me? Okay, you're going to bite me, so we'll just have to reset. Sometimes you, you really can't tell. Sorry, people. Sometimes you really can't tell if they're going to swallow it on their own or uh, going to bite you. In this case, he was going to bite me. It's always nice for them to take that first couple of good bites because you know they're using up some venom and that venom is no longer available for your finger. There you go, come on. Come on, you can do this. Come on. Yeah, I know, I know, this is not fun. I know. You know, come on, come on. You know, they're really tightening up their, uh, their gastric uh, 
uh, track there and really really try to prevent it from going down and and you know uh, if you've taken a too big a bite of food and you've swallowed it and it sort of slowly goes down but you get this nice excruciating pain along with it you know that's what these guys got to be feeling and it really it pains me too because you know it's just uh, just not pleasant for them and you know and that's why the buzzer didn't like me so much I guess because uh, these guys do have a memory okay let's give you this one let's give you this one and you can go a peg too, so I don't have to feed you next time. Here you go. Come on. Here we go. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, three of those pups in there. Oh boy, you're being difficult. You're being difficult. Now come on. Ooh, gotta watch that fang there. Okay, okay, we're done. We're done. Down the hatch. There we go. That's a good guy. That's a good guy. Okay. So number one is opaque. I'll have to make a note of that uh, for the files. And we'll see, uh, we'll see what goes on uh, next. Spider wag, spider wag. Does whatever a waggler can. Hey, pretty good trick there, bud. Oh, we fell down. Uh, I hope you didn't get some substrate in your mouth. Oh, well, that was a nice trick, uh, Miss Wag. Oh, here's a very cranky squamager. Oh, decided you're going to have a drink, huh? Okay, well, that's good because you're ready to shed. Oh, but you're, oh, you are a cranky beast. You are a cranky beast. Here, have some more. Whoa, tag that water bottle. Notice, when I do this, hold on. Okay, when I do this, I try to keep my little little pinkies uh, behind the, uh, the bottle. So it hit, whatever strikes hits the uh, bottle. So look, I'll give you two targets. Just have a drink. This is another red male that's on loan uh, to mate with a red female that I have that I've had for a very long time. I don't know if he's done the job or not, but uh, we'll see probably uh, the beginning of December to the end of December if he's actually done his job now. I didn't breed the female last year because she sort of had a little bit of a, a reproductive issues and was passing infertile eggs and slugs and stuff and only had three live the last time around. So I gave her a year off and uh, going to now uh, uh, see if this little boy, this foul beast, uh, uh, hooked her up and we can get some babies there we go okay have a good drink have a good drink you can certainly use it oh that was a good one that was close whoa you are a cranky beast so you can tell this wasn't one of my little guys that I've raised from scratch um, because he's he's cranky. Hold on. Oh, nice one. 
Look, that's not getting you uh, any uh, anywhere. Just have a nice drink and be relaxed. Oh, no, no, I am relaxed. I'm, uh, I'm trying to kill you. Now, I was away uh, again this week, and uh, these guys were unattended all week. Bob was under the weather and couldn't come to visit them and uh, make sure uh, water uh, got into the cages. I I watered everybody heavily on uh, uh, before I left. But uh, the guys that are shedding, uh, I wanted to make sure they got some water.